Well, you, a lot's you know been really going on behind the scenes of the MLS in in the last year or so. We made a uh, a debut of a new repeat offender policy for the MLS. So we announced the policy last year, uh, and the policy went into effect, uh, or we had a notification process from March all the way to May, and policy went into effect on May 1st. We've had 14 subscribers escalate into the repeat status. And of those 14, only three, are, uh, only three subscribers have actually been issued a fine by the standards committee. Uh, you know, one of the things that we've been really reviewing as far as this policy goes is has, it been, has, has there been a good effect? Is it, is it accomplishing what it is that we want to accomplish? And so far, so far we're, we're thinking yes. All right, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to uh, what I've been calling the, the syndication sideshow. So, it was July 2014, Zillow places an offer to buy its competitor, Trulia. The deal had to be reviewed by the FTC to make sure that uh, competition would not suffer in this deal. And then uh, in September of 2014, List Hub, uh, it is a subsidiary of Move, uh, they, have pr they purchased the syndication operation of Point2. So prior to September 2014, we had two choices for syndication that you could take advantage of. And one of them was Point2, one of them was List Hub. And so, as of September, they all got mushed into one basket, so we have one syndication partner. And then in uh, November of 2014, Rupert Murdoch and News Corp closed on a deal to purchase Move Incorporated, and the purchase included Realtor.com, List Hub, and Top Producer. The, the idea behind it was that News Corp did see a lot of value in Realtor.com and the Realtor brand. There's a lot that we do right as the Realtor organization, and they see value in that. And then things started to get interesting. In January of 2015, Zillow on its own announced that they were going to enact their 90-day termination clause for their List Hub agreement. And basically what that was saying was, List, was um, Zillow was pulling out of List Hub syndication. They thought that they could um, do a little bit better if they opted to get listing information directly from MLSs, franchisers, and brokers instead of the syndication feed through List Hub. And then shortly after that, just a little less than a month after that, the FTC approved the acquisition of Trulia by Zillow, and they formed a new corporation called the Zillow Group. Zillow Group encompasses a lot of online traffic. We've got Zillow, Trulia, if you're in the rental, in rental area, you got hot pads, and then some of the, even their affiliates, uh, Front Door, Yahoo Real Estate, AOL Real Estate, are all operated the, by now the Zillow Group. And then things started to get ugly. So day, just days after the Zillow group was, was formed, List Hub and their attorneys determined that the contract between List Hub and Trulia was void. And they gave a five day termination notice for listings going through List Hub to Trulia. And at that point, my stress level went from somewhere up here to skyrocketing. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was just, you know, really very, very bad timing. Not a lot of time for us to react. Um, and yeah, the, the entire industry was very stressed at that point. Going through all of this, we did, you know, we started work on, working on a strategy instantaneously. TARMLS is going to license listing information to the Zillow Group. We are not transferring ownership, we are just licensing the listing information. Uh, MLS participants will have to opt into a new channel for the Zillow group. Participant can opt into just active listings or the participant can opt into actives and solds. So Zillow will always identify the listing agent and place him or her in a prominent location. And Zillow is going to provide statistics to the participant and to the MLS. So when you sign up for when you opt in to the, to the new Zillow feed, Zillow will be providing a dashboard where you can take a look at all of the statistics. Once the participant enables the options for the new feed for their office, there's going to be some new options in the listing export options that you see during input and maintenance. So when you're going into Flex, you're putting in a listing, you got your address, you got your main fields, you got your details, and then you've got your export options. And this is where you, uh, where your seller can opt out of display on the internet, they can withhold the address, uh, you can withhold it from realtor.com, 
Well, there's going to be a new option in there for syndication options and the, uh, the Zillow feed that your office has opted into will appear. If your office doesn't opt into any of the Zillow feeds, nothing will appear and it'll just be the same as you've always seen. All right, so one of the questions that I have received a time or two is, you know, since I've already, you know, since the participant has already opted in to the feed from List Hub, can't we just automatically turn it on for my office? And the answer is no. The agreement that we have with Zillow is much different than the agreement that List Hub had with Zillow. The terms are different, the deliverables are different, and there was just really no way that we could opt in to uh, into that feed automatically. So the, uh, the participant is going to have to actually do something in Flex to make all this work. What about List Hub? Well, we are going to continue to partner with List Hub for their syndication services. Homes.com, iHomeFinder, there's still a lot of websites out there that they will syndicate to. Uh, List Hub is still going to be the data source for Fannie Mae's HomePath.com. So anybody, you've, anybody who's working with Fannie Mae, um, List Hub is, is still their data source. Uh, List Hub still has their real estate network program, and the real estate network is the opportunity to syndicate listings to some of the franchise organizations who do not qualify for IDX. And List Hub still operates their List Hub Global, which is a, a subscription service to send listings internationally. So the, List Hub is not going anywhere. We're not abandoning List Hub. They're not abandoning us. That's just um, very unfortunate. Uh, some unfortunate dealings have happened. So, but List Hub is still here.